Hello, TV Land. It is your boy, Freelancer Joe. Ready to once again get cracking. How are you all doing on this fine and wonderful and gloomy fall Monday afternoon? Mid afternoon? I guess I'll call it mid afternoon. It's not early enough to be evening or pre evening or early evening. For me, evening starts at five. So what do you say at four? Late afternoon? And I say three is like two to three is mid afternoon and one I still count as afternoon. Oh, if you <clears throat> hear something in the background, I think one of the neighbors is having trouble with the muffler. <laughs> Eh, car problems happen. At least it's on a day when they don't have to go to work, or hopefully they didn't have to go to work. And I hope that you didn't have to go to work either, unless you had to and you wanted to. Today being the observance of Veterans Day, I really should have made note of that in yesterday's episode, but I guess I was just too much in the groove of things. Ah, uh, yes. Let me go ahead and set things up and ask, how y'all doing? Uh, oh. When, when Scafe keeps it keeps doing that. Yeah, yeah. Did you have a good day? A nice day off? If I'm assuming you had it off, or you know, even if you didn't have it off, did you at least have a nice day? This is one of the holidays when Freelancer Joe could have taken the day off. Um, but if you were here for the <clears throat> spate of episodes where I was homebound because I was not feeling tip top. You should know how Freelancer Joe feels about using up paid time, paid time off. Even on actual holidays. See, that's the thing. If I take a day off, it's because I want to take the day off and not because, um, you know, it's customary for people to have the day off. Well, that's one thing. And the other thing is, well, as you can tell by Freelancer Joe's distinctive style, that uh, he marches to his own beat when it comes to clothing. And as a result, uh, I tend to play a little loosey-goosey with the... Uh, um, acceptable norms of office wear. Not so much that I get arrested for indecent exposure or anything like that. But, um, yeah. People that know me uh, are fine with it, but uh, in certain environments it's not going to be acceptable. Such as when I start my new position at the End of this month slash beginning of next month, I'm pretty certain they're not going to look kindly upon Freelancer Joe's fashion sense. So, the one thing I like about going into the office on days like today when everyone is pretty much out is I can be really loosey-goosey with the uh, office attire. Uh, CD products, you know. Shorts. I'm talking about wearing shorts. I love wearing shorts. <laughs> I don't care if it's like, you know, 40 degrees outside. I'll wear shorts if I can wear shorts. And I wore shorts. All right. Uh, UI dash demo. Although I wasn't actually alone in the office today. Uh, we had two other people show up, which is surprising. Well, one person showed up at the normal time, another one showed up uh, fairly later than normal. Most of the time on a day like uh, one, of the, one of these types of holidays, it's normally just me, myself, and I. Uh, in fact, I think Columbus Day, I was the only one in the office too. If I had to wager, uh, they're trying to save up their vacation time too for the end of the month around Thanksgiving. I still haven't made up my mind about Black Friday yet. The Friday after Thanksgiving. Not that I'm going to go do Black Friday shopping. That's just insane. Um, and really, ever since Amazon came along and I got plugged into that, beyond shopping for groceries, I'm not much of a fan of shopping. Well, 
And unless it's a uh, unless it's a story that requires me to fill out a uh, uh, is it a three three nine seven? I forgot what those forms are. Been a while since I've been to one of those. And just a shame, as it turns out, the nation's gun show is this weekend. It's been years since I've gone to one of those. I say years, but it's probably just been two. Ugh, it's been over a year since I've uh, dropped brass. Has it been? Yeah, yeah, I think the last time was uh, uh, for my sister's wedding uh, in Vegas. Uh, my brother and I, we went to, to one of the ranges there. Tried out some full auto. auto. Okay, alright, alright. What are we. <sighs> Snapping my fingers. Okay. Let me see. So, did I spend enough time talking about business casual attire and my uh, approach to it? Oh, no, we haven't, because there's something else I was going to segue into that. But I'll sprinkle out that. Those gems of wisdom, those pearls, those nuggets, um, as we proceed. Anyway. So we were working on the calendar in my demo application right now, and we are working towards getting the calendar dynamically configured for events because it doesn't make sense to hard code these things into the calendar because events will change. Um, and I had been wiring it up and I'd gotten to the point where I think at least from the UI perspective, actually, no, I'm just trying to get it to come up. Right, right. It's not fully wired up yet from the UI side of things. So basically, we have our view, and then it's going to talk to a component in like the middle tier, and that component is the one that's actually going to make the call out to the AWS API gateway, and that API gateway is going to talk to the Lambda, and the Lambda is going to talk to, <laughs> talk to DynamoDB. I know it seems oddly convoluted. Um, yeah, I guess you could say it, but you really should just look at it from when I said the, my view and then the middle, that's still just the UI. That's one box, right? And then the API gateway, the Lambda, Dynamo, that's another box. So really there's two boxes, but they're pieces inside the boxes. Um, but we hadn't gotten my UI wired up yet because I was still trying to get it to come up. All right, so now it comes up. That is good. That is bueno. Uh, but the thing is, or was, is that, uh, oh yeah, I still wanted to see if the snack bar came up. Okay, so let's close that. Uh, I bet you I'm going to eat these, a lot of these later on, but we'll close them up for now. So I think I have all of my uh, Redux actions and reducers are all wired up so that the view can talk so within the UI box, so that my view can talk to my middleware manager kind of thing. Um, but it is not actually, I haven't wired it up to make that call yet. Once I make that once I do actually wire that up, it's going to make the call, but I fully expect it to throw an error. And then I want to see the snack bar show up. So, yeah. We've got, still got lots of moving parts. All right, all right. So let's look in the calendar. And so when do I make the call? Hmm. All right, so we will need a function to actually load the calendar events. Uh, so called load calendar events. Uh, prop types func. Da, 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 da. As you can see, this view was copy and pasted from one of the other views that had the text fields in it. Kind of debatable why I'm bothering to comment my demo stuff, really. <laughs> so that's that. We don't need the. T oh, and that's another thing now. So even if it makes the call, it still has to actually pull the values in and render them. So 
As you can see right now, it's set up to pull the text fields from the application state. But we have in our reducer, uh, we actually have uh, something, yeah, AWS, which is actually going to have results, which is actually going to have the calendar, which is going to have the events, hopefully. So for now, we will just, uh, let's include the in, uh, calendar, we'll just call it calendar. So state dot AWS dot results dot calendar. And uh, probably should do I should do a defensive check on that, to be honest, and I would. In something that wasn't the demo, I'd basically check to make sure AWS is in there, which it will be, as well as results. Okay, uh, maybe I don't. Eh. Yeah, I probably would. And then instead of update text field, we're going to call load calendar events, dispatch. Okay, so now we need what action we're actually going to do call and I believe it's no not you it's under constants no that was constants actions so this has transition requested but we want AWS access no hmm oh really how huh. I may have taken something out that I shouldn't have so I was thinking I call AWS Access Start, but I need to tell it what it should be calling. And yet, for some reason, I don't have a key in there, and I could have sworn I should have had that key. Is that kind of an oversight on my part in my own personal website? What is this? Managers. Internal actions. Index. No, that doesn't seem right. That doesn't seem right at all. Liking that. Uh, present container view. Let's look at my contact form. Mm. Uh, can hire me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How is this guy dispatching the action? No, he doesn't call it. Center presentational contact 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 form. Here we go. I broke it out. Okay. New. Wait, okay, so on submit form click. Oh submit form. Ba, ba. Access AWS, AWS keys, contact form submit. So I do pass in something. seems right but where oh I access the manager directly okay all right right duh. all right <clears throat> so I call the manager directly and the manager is the one that passes around the keys okay all right totally forgot about that I guess I really should be treating it like a holiday well, obviously my brain's treating it like a holiday all right, all right, all right, all right. Managers, da, 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 import AWS. That's fine. We need the keys, right? Uh, that was constants. 
all right? I don't believe I use you, or even you. Eh, we'll clean that up later. All right, so I access, okay, I call that manager directly. That's where that's happening, okay. All right, that's cool, that's cool. Cool, cool. So now the question is, when do I actually make this call? Oh, you know, put in the wrong thing. I still need the keys though. I need, because the keys are how the manager is going to know what it's supposed to be doing. AWS keys, and the one key we do have right now is just calendar event lookup, right? Right. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so, but where do we call this? Well, great. I don't have any of the lifecycle methods in here, do I? So, in the React lifecycle, hmm, really? I don't have it, any of those in there? I should have had it on a hand mount at least. Uh, so I want to call this basically when the view first comes up because there's no other need for it to, and that's when it should do it. It shouldn't happen when the page changes, it changes or anything because the page isn't going to change. But do I have any of the lifecycle methods defined in here? Uh, okay, there we go. There we go. Component will mount. So when the component mounts is when I'm going to want to make that call. So component will mount. The function evokes only once because we only need to load it once. Mm, I guess it depends how often the view changes, but whatever. And we're going to access AWS. Da, 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 And the AWS key we're going to do is calendar event lookup. Oh, that's why it's not rendering correctly. I was wondering about that. And that would probably take care of that warning I was seeing too. Okay, good, good. The warning, that would be... Okay, yeah, this, this right here. Or actually even... Where was it? Oh, it's an error. Fair enough. Okay. Contact form submit. Our calendar event. We're not going to pass in any data. Fair enough. Let me see. And the manager. That's not the manager. Where's the manager? That's not the manager. That's the reducer. Come along, Mr. Manager. Right here, so it's going to key data, we get no, starting access, access start, it's fine, Before, uh, perform access, perform access, key data, look up calendar events, all right, so that should throw an error, should, let's see, let's see if it builds, no. Source JS constants AWS keys in calendar view, really. Uh, did I not go up high enough? Calendar view, go up one, that's container. Two is components. Oh, I have to go up three? Current directories view. If I go up one, I'm in container. I go up another, I'm in components. Okay, I think I have to go up one more. Oh, yes, yes. A fall. All right. Oh, you did it again. 
No, he didn't do it again. Uh, let's try that again. Oh yeah, so uh, business casual attire, whatever. I understand the reasoning behind it, uh, but I think it's very situational. It's more of a, I would consider it more of a differentiator, to be honest. And they say you want to present a professional image, but the way I look at it, it's kind of like if you go to a restaurant. I mean, it doesn't matter if the you know, wait staff is dressed to the nines if they're just serving you a McDonald's hamburger, right? Um, but on the other hand, if someplace the guy's just, you know, dressed normal, but they're serving you some of the finest food you ever had, you know, I take the finest food over a fancily presented hamburger, you know? Oh, another error again. Can't resolve. Okay. All right. So, where am I going with that? In my line of work, more often than not, the people that are dressed the finest. Oh, I don't have fetch eagle either. Okay. Eh, that makes sense. Uh, where does fetch eagle go? The people that are dressed the most professionally are quite often the most useless. And if anything, they make more work for for people. Just saying. And not good work. Uh, components. Where the heck is util? Uh, source. JS. I'm not seeing util component. It should be in managers. Mm, no. No. No, I, that makes sense. Uh, oh, there you go. Managers, external, you know. Okay, all right, that makes sense. AWS. Ch -ch -ch. New folder. You know, probably another index.js. New file. Um, but yeah, that's where I fall on the line of uh, fetch util. Of the importance of dressing professionally. Now that said, if you have two places or two people that, you know, are delivering the same quality of goods, well, then it becomes a personal prefer preference in my opinion. I mean... Maybe you want the professional look, and maybe you'd feel more comfortable with somebody who's, you know, more relatable. Definitely have to clean that up. All right, let's see. How about now? Or do I have to go up another one? I should have cleared that, shouldn't I? Da, 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 da. Anyway, not that freelancer Joe is going to dress to the nines for his new gig. But I do have a, a nice, uh, I don't know, I don't think it's a blazer. I forget what the fashion word is for it. Two of them, actually. I got from my grandfather, and they actually belong to my to my uncle? Yeah. He gave them to me when I was in college. They were a little snug back then, but I got them to fit. And then Freelancer Joe pecked on the pounds, and they didn't fit so well. <laughs> but now that I've slimmed down a bit, I'm looking pretty sharp in them. So I might uh, dust them off and give them another go. Plus, the company has given me, uh, huh? the company has given me, you know, the uh, the golf shirts with the company logo on them. So I figure that in conjunction with that, that'd be pretty good. Contact form. 
Really? I'm still using contact form info? Uh, contact form info. Okay, so you're fine. Well, not really. Probably have to change that. I wasn't using I could have sworn I replaced that. Wait, who's complaining about contact form info? In calendar view. Uh, no. 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 Come on. Look up calendar events. Okay. No. All right. So that was an error. All right. So it made the call. That's fine. But why did it not? It should have dispatched. That should have resulted in an error. Yeah, it should have resulted in an error. All right. Access start. Component will mount. Contact form info is. Dispatched it. Um, hmm. Did it not? And uh, did it not log the error? Let's see, error. So it was generating the error that I expected, but it's not, <clears throat> it's not rendering the snack bar, which I also find curious because I don't know if it's necessarily catching the error here where it should be catching the error. Hmm, unless the error is in the promise. Oh, I bet you that might be it. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> so if the error occurred in the promise, That would be fine. Uh, but the error is occurring da, 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 here. So, da, 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 da. Data equal, uh, so we'll just pass an empty one in there. And that should give me the error. Maybe. App updated, recompiling. Off of you, fine. Calendar. Show snack bar is not defined. All right, so that's better. Show snack bar is not defined. Who's complaining about this? Ah, well, unfortunately, or fortunately, depending upon how you look at it, we are just about at the 30 minute mark, so I'll wrap this up for now. Eh, little by little, step forward, step forward, small step forward, teeny tiny step forward, which is impressive considering how large I am. But I will wrap this up for now. Um, thank you for joining me. Cool kid words about liking and subscribing, commenting and suggesting. And I hope you join with me. I hope you'll join me tomorrow when, um, at least I hope to get the snack bar up. And uh, until the next time you do join me, I hope that you take care and God bless.